in the air. Another cage match here tonight between two of the most hated rivals, not only of each other, but by the crowd for that matter. Whether we'll have it on TV, we were told we would not. Now it appears maybe we will. We'll have to find out. I'll be back in just a moment with a whole lot of wrestling, some wrestling news, and of course the always colorful and unpredictable interviews. First, though, the man who's been with us all these many, many years bringing wrestling to you, Tom Peterson. Remember, I'm Marv Tonkin, the Ford man. Among other things in the mail today, we got uh, from an anonymous source an article out of the Springfield Oregonian News, August 10th, a tribute and a nice one by Eric Mortensen wrote it to Shag Thomas, mentioned Bear Cat Right. I would make one, uh, one correction on it. He's talking about Jimmy Jones announcing wrestling on KPTV in those days, and not so. Jimmy, to my knowledge, has never done any wrestling announcing been yours truly since the beginning on Channel 12 this last time around. Started on 27 many, many years ago, which later became 12. But a nice story nonetheless in the Springfield newspaper about Chag Thomas written by Eric Mortensen. Eric, you weren't paying attention who the announcer was when you were sitting down in that basement watching the wrestling many years ago. We've got a lot of action, a lot of different things going to be happening tonight, and we're not just sure in what order they're going to happen, so why don't you stick with evening, us? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The first event this evening will be one fall. Intro introducing in this corner, 235 pounds, Sheikh Abdullah. His opponent in this corner, 225 pounds, from Mississippi, Tommy Rogers. Referee Luke Brown. Luke Brown, the referee. Frank Bonham calling the action. That, of course, was Don Owen doing the introductions. Abdullah the Sheik on hand. Some questions in the mail. But when is Mort coming, uh, Matt Bourne coming back? Is Jimmy Snooker coming back? Well, we never know those things. Snooker now main eventing in Madison Square Garden. Matt Bourne, I see, is in Atlanta, Georgia. In against the Sheik. <laughs> Nearly full house on hand here to watch the matches tonight and particularly to see that cage match. Buddy Rose says he will leave in the Northwest. He'll not wrestle here again. Somebody wrote in questions, says, does that mean never wrestle again? No, you can't really do that. We had a couple trial cases of loser leave town matches. Uh, the general rule of thumb is 90 minutes, or 90, 90 minutes, 90 days that a man is, uh, can be uh, not uh, allowed not to wrestle in an area. They say it's taking away from his livelihood if you ban him forever, except for a uh, flagrant violation of the rules or something like that. But it would be at least three months, unless otherwise stipulated specifically in a contract. I think in this case Rose would be gone for quite a while because he has really put his foot in it this time. More questions about Matt Bourne. Well, as we say, he's down south.
Steve Regal, uh, when is he coming back? He has left wrestling, the last thing we hear. The shoulder did not bend as well as he thought. Over the top by Rogers, he's up and a hip toss. It's Abdullah the Sheik. A wing lock, reverse wing lock. Tommy Rogers working it on Abdullah as we are nearing capacity at the Portland Sports Arena. Body slam. And somebody sent me an article. Evelyn Krauss of Long Beach. Looks like it came out of People magazine about Adrian Adonis and Jesse Ventura. They're making it in the big time, aren't they? Well, they certainly are. Two of them that started their careers here again. Well, thank you. Miss and this Mrs. Krause, whatever the case might be. <laughs> Rogers. Working on Abdullah. Mount Hood Community College this week, the scene uh, on the opening day, Monday. The main event has been changed, and we hope to get word to you tonight yet what it will be, but match definitely continue at Mount Hood on Monday night. Tommy Rogers. Abdullah the Sheik, as he has. Oh, a leapfrog coming back with a drop kick. Sheik is nailed. Arm drag slam. Tommy Rogers looking good in the crowd, liking it. Abdullah the Sheik wearing shoes similar to those worn by the Iron Sheik. Remember when the Sheik and Dutch Savage had their rivalry? I don't know if you ever got to see it, but a half-hour documentary was done on that show. On that final match between the Iron Sheik and Dutch Savage. Made one of the most interesting sports documentaries I've ever seen played on public television. Whoa! Reverse leg drop by Rogers on the Sheik. This is Abdullah, the Sheik. Over in the coast this week to see George Paris, and of all things, my uh, my old friend from over there in Lincoln City has the restaurant. Was in Denver, barbecuing a buffalo. Knee lift to the midsection. Abdullah sticking it to the Brent basket on Tommy Rogers. Rogers from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And all the way across the ring. And a club blow down into the point of the chin. 
Abdullah. Stumped to the back of the head. Turnbuckle treatment. Tommy Rogers hurt. Our opening match of the night. We want Tommy to cry of the crowd. Turnbuckle treatment for Rogers again. And again, now oh, Rogers blocked at that time. Gives it back to the Sheik. And again, turnbuckle treatment for the Sheik. Whip into the ropes. Tommy taking him into the back rope. Bottom rope, check that. Going to go for the suplex. As Abdullah up and down hard. Would have the pin, I think, but Abdullah's got a foot on the ropes. Rogers going after it with a seat drop and miss. What the look like the shins and maybe the point of those boots into the back of Tommy Rogers. That was a flat of the foot kick. Into the ropes, the whip, and elbow smash, point of the chin. Could have one, two, and Rogers kicks out just in time. And Roger says so cut lip or cut tongue. And inside Cradle, good move. One, two, and that's all. Abdul up in that second turnbuckle comes flying. Forearm smash halfway across the ring. Laid it on young Tommy Rogers. Turns him over. See if he has the pin. One, two. Gets out just in time. Back of the head. And a kick side of the head. The whip hits reverse. Rogers caught in an airplane spin. Airplane spin put on by Abdul. Reverse power slam. One, two, and three. Slam after the airplane spin wins it for Abdullah the Sheik. We're going to tell you once again, as we do always, uh, here in just a moment, where wrestling is this week throughout the Pacific Northwest. I want to remind you that our next big Tuesday special is on August 31st. That is a week from this coming Tuesday, not this coming Tuesday. It's going to be Kids Night, incidentally, on September 4th. Remember that one. It's Labor Day weekend. Uh, Terry Gibbs, sensational young wrestler from Georgia, is going to be here. He's been on national TV. We'll tell you more about him in the weeks to come. September 4th, Kids Night. Remember that. Okay, a rundown, if we might, on where wrestling will be. It'll be a, a